Cut, Daddy! Can you please fix your game? Broken Matt Hardy would definitely approve this message. What is going on? Hashtag Burritos Nation. It's your boy Rainbow Warrior here with another episode of WWE Supercard. I think this is number 41 and hopefully we can have some fun with my spinny spinny chair right now. <laughs> but anyways guys, in this episode we are um, having some waiting on the network because that always always happens when a team event comes around. So hopefully Cat Daddy, like I just said and Broken Matt Hardy said, they can fix their game because it would be really really appreciative if we can go ahead and actually get into the app because it seems like every time I kick out then I get out of the app then I just it takes a while so yeah luckily it only took like five seconds that time but we do have ourselves a team event which is pretty awesome like a possum um uh, we are currently doing pretty pretty good right now where we got ourselves vanits with 11 myself with eight Ryu first six Robbie 1783 with five Harry Damer with four gear with four Jupiter three Theo two Jerry 1173 with two and boss is not awake i don't think or maybe he's busy at work or something but hopefully you guys had a great christmas in this episode we're gonna be i'm gonna show you guys a trick that i do with royal romo mode as well it when it whenever we do team ring domination i always use use royal romo mode to help me be, go ahead and get shards but first before we do that we're gonna go ahead and show you guys i did a couple of christmas pack openings at the throwback packs and i think you might be able to say that that luck was ultimate Let's see. All right, so you guys, I gotta be quiet because it's like really, really early in the morning, but it is Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. And hopefully we go ahead and get some good luck here because I'm gonna go ahead and open up some packs because they did go on sale again for 30% off. All right, so let's see what we do have. Um, I'm gonna do some throwback packs. Um, basically, all we have here is they're not a female. We don't have Lita. <laughs> but we have ourselves a Stone Cold Steve Austin right here. So I'll show you guys it right about now. So it'd be great if I got him. If I don't, then that'd be sad. If I go ahead and get Stone Cold on the first one, I'll just stop because there's really no point. <laughs> but let's see if we can get lucky here. If I get a Stone Cold Pro, that'd be fantastic. Here we go. Pack one. We're going to go and get ourselves. Oh! An Ultimate Mankind. Okay. That's pretty cool. Just for the image, I get to have a Mankind. Thank you for putting these on sale. <laughs> right, so I got an Ultimate Mankind card and Ultimate Charisma. That's really, really, really cool. All right, man. So we got a, another chance at an Ultimate Pro. Come on. Give me some luck here. Please. Please give me some luck here. Give me an Ultimate Mankind or an Ultimate Stone Cold. Yes! 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 Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We got an ultimate Stone Cold Steve Austin Pro, guys. Yes. Oh, my Christmas for Supercard has just been made. Hopefully, you guys had yourself some awesome looking packs. I'm going to stop there. I'm okay with just the, stone, the Mankind uh, image. And if you guys want to see me open more packs, let me know. And just like, if you want to donate, you can. I don't, you guys don't have to donate at all. But if you want, then that'd be cool. <laughs> Let's see here. Combinable. We have our first ever throwback pro. Probably will never get throwback packs ever again, but I'm very, very happy about this to see is like an event card. But anyways, guys, whatever episode this is, I'm just going to continue the episode now. All right, I'm really excited. Stone Cool Pro, baby. Yes. Well, all right, guys. So as you guys just saw, I got myself my first ever throwback flipping pro stone cold steve austin i'm so so hyped about that he's gonna be the same if not just maybe a little lower or maybe a little higher than some of the event cards i have not seen completely the differences i've not counted the point totals but that's pretty sick right there as you can see we're starting to add up some pros here i have my brett the him and heart to pro i have my stone cold steve austin pro my dolph ziggler pro i'm very very happy to have and my rhino pro which will be my first up arrow pro as well as stone cold's gonna be a great down arrow pro i'm gonna have him in my King of the Ring with my tag and Rhino. I'm going to have good old um, Brett the Him and Heart in my solo is what I'm thinking I'm going to do because since I don't have any left arrows yet. So it's pretty cool right there. We're going to go ahead and get into some uh, a strategy that I use for the good old um, Team Ring Domination whenever it comes around. So what I do, I use Roll Rumble mode to go ahead and get down my picks and then stupid waiting on the network. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, we do have a roll rumble mode. It just started. So I'm going to play roll rumble mode, and you'll see at the end that I have a bunch of picks saved up. I try to get my board as low as I possibly can before I 
kick myself out of the game and I go back into the game and then play some ring domination because I want to get my reset, as you guys know, in the team ring domination. All right, so let's see here. Who are we going against? My parent sucks. <laughs> That's a nice little bot name. That's an interesting bot name for sure. <laughs> but hopefully you guys this helps you guys out if you guys did not know this strategy you can use it as well in the rank mode the wild mode but of course as you know you get the most picks in royal rumble mode so yeah it's the most efficient way to do it all right so see here let's go and put in our biggie new day rocks do you guys think that they're going to win their title back soon i don't know maybe they'll win it back this monday i'm really really excited for tuesday don't think it's going to happen because they always mess over Dolph Ziggler, but I would love to see Dolph Ziggler win the World Heavyweight Championship. I would love to see Baron Corbin win the World Championship eventually. It's not going to happen yet, and I don't want it to happen yet because he's still got some time to grow as a superstar, but he is growing really, really rapidly, and he's one of my favorites already. But yes, I'm really, really excited for Dolph Ziggler to be a champion. Hopefully, if they can let him win, but I just don't see it happening because they just they dirtbag him all the time. He should be a world champion more than two times, and this two times were cut short or one time he was just given the title when he was a heel by Vicky Guerrero and the other time he cashed him money in the bank but he sadly had a concussion really really shortly after that so right at the time when they thought they were going to push him it's just like ah. and whenever he gets an intercontinental championship it's like man they're going to push him he just got a big match a career ending match he won that and then just nothing but yes hopefully this is actually a legit push right now and maybe we'll get lucky for all of us Dolph Ziggler fans out there. I know World's Dopus is a... He's a Dolph Ziggler fan too. He's an awesome YouTube cham channel. If I can talk correctly. That you guys should go and check out. Uh, so let's see here. Let's go and put in our Shinsuke Nakamura. Hopefully we can win this match. And I'll show you guys. I have a bunch of picks saved up. And hopefully it works out. Because sometimes you guys... Uh, of course you get really, really unlucky. And you know... Uh, you'll pick a reset off the board. So hopefully I can get this down to around 16 picks. Since I do have a pick doubler. Uh, so... Obviously, that means I get eight picks. Let's go and put in our big cast right here. And that is pretty cool, yo. Uh, one bad thing about Royal Rumble is that it takes forever, but it's definitely worth it, guys. For those of you that are saying, oh, I don't want to play because it takes so stinking long, it is still definitely worth it, guys, to get those 12 picks. It'll help you get better to your resets, especially you guys that are in lower tiers because your resets actually are a lot faster than the guys like myself and um, JB and even people in Harden, and SummerSlam, all like that. It takes way, way longer. So yeah, it's definitely a perfect way to get your reset a lot faster in any tier that you're in. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and win this match as well. All right, do we have a speed? We do, but I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use my speedy, speedy, speedy guy because he's going to be a good one to actually win matches. All right, so sh Shane McMahon, obviously. All right, so let's see here. Ooh, we actually won that. Uh, we do have a speed. We have another speedy guy. All right, so this is going to work out. Cool. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. And I think that we're almost done. Yes, we are. This is our 14th match. We're going to go and throw away Bo Dallas. And let's see. Does this guy even have a win? I don't think he does. Take that, man. That's what you That's what you get for disrespecting your parents, yo. You don't say that your parents suck. Your, your parents are good people. All right. So there we go. So we're going to wreck those, this guy right here. 11-0. We're going to wait on network. And hopefully it doesn't kick us out of the game like it was doing at the beginning of the team ring domination. But as you can see, I have 45 picks saved up um let's see how many we have that's one two three four if you don't know there's 25 picks on the board so that's 25 minus four is 21 21 um i'm gonna try to get it down to 15 so we're gonna try to get six picks without getting a reset hopefully all right so let's see here three four ah darn it so i got a reset right there but it looks like i have a lot more picks left over i try to get 10 under it so i can get down to 15 to have a over half percent chance to be able to get my my pull in the team ring domination all right so let's see that is one two three four five six ah oh, survivor cryback why are you doing this at least that's a decent pull all right come on man Come on, hopefully I can actually get... Oh my gosh, guys. So as you can see, every once in a while you get really, really unlucky and you start pulling a bunch of things off the board. So I'm hoping that I can get down to 10 picks without a pull right here. Luckily, I saved a bunch of picks for you guys. All right, so we got some waiting on the network. This is going to be so darn fun for you guys to watch. Look at that. Look at that. We got ourselves a wonderful little network error. <sighs> Well, I'm going to go ahead and pause, and I'm going to play a ranked or a wild match, and then when I get back, I'll show you guys. Hopefully, we can get down to the number of picks I want to get to. All right, guys, so we're back. Just played a wild match. We still have 30 picks remaining. We have three off the board. We want to try to get seven more without getting a reset. Please let me get lucky here. Please. Three, four, five, 
six. All right, guys, this is right here. Don't be a reset. Seven. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of the game, as you guys see right here, backing out. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Supercard and log back in. I'm going to go and play a Team Ring Domination match. So this is a good strategy you guys can use. So now I have 15 picks remaining. I have an 8 out of 15 chance to go and win it. So definitely also it works if you only got 4 picks if you don't have a pick doubler because you can just like try to get lower maybe if you want to. So definitely if you're playing Ring Domination you, you, and you forget about Ring Domination for a second, you're playing some Wild Mode or Rank Mode or Royal Realm Mode, and you get down to like 4 picks, you definitely need to get yourself into a Ring Domination of the team's match. So yeah. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and do this right here. Because it's, it's, uh, that's what I love about this event is because I hate that it gets broken all the time, but I love that it works with your other boards. All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and put in a Rapal Heyman. All right, and let's see here. Do we have anyone to throw out? No, we do not, but we have a bunch of good old Bret Hearts. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and take out the Heat the Baby. And we are also using the Team Ring Nomination uh, trick where you put all common divas and all camp common females and it brings down your terror uh, your tear a lot gosh man i'm sorry guys i can't talk today all right so let's see let's go, go there and he's gonna go and get wrecked right there maybe we can get lucky and we can get our first perfect win probably just jinx myself but i don't know all right so the very 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 nice little proc <laughs> let's see where he's gonna go next he's gonna go right up there we're gonna go and take him right there all right so he needs to go to the right he needs to go to the right for me to have a chance for a perfect win let's see if we can get lucky and get a perfect win come on go to the right go to the right go to the right oh darn you frodo you're lucky i like you now as a heel <laughs> all right so we're gonna get ourselves eight picks hopefully i activated that pick doubler i really hope i did probably didn't I did, cool. All right, so we have a one, five, eight, 11, 13, 15 pick. So we have an eight out of 15 chance. So we have over half chance. So we're gonna hopefully, get, hey, there we go. First shard it is. So that was really, really lucky. But as you can see, guys, this works out. It gives you guys a lot better chance of going ahead and getting yourselves a shard by getting down your picks a lot lower. And this is why I use every single team ring nomination since the very first one. First one, of course, when you start out, you're like, I don't know how to play. But that's like every single mode. But yeah. Uh, so let's see here. Can we get lucky again? And we're going to wait on network. And no, but we get some energies for King of the Rings. That's pretty cool. As you can see, my team's doing pretty good right now. And that's pretty awesome, like a possum. But hopefully, you guys, this is helpful to those of you that did not know this strategy. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to start trying it if you hadn't before. Uh, I love you guys so much. My hashtag Brewers Nation. And I'll see all of y'all burrito lovers Ooh, later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want burritos, please. So, so hyped to pro this for you guys. Hopefully in tomorrow's episode, I'm going to definitely grind these things out. I'm going to pro all four of these in one episode for you guys. Eat your burritos and try out this strategy.